Welcome back. If the air in the valley feels different tonight, it might just be the electricity <laughs> of playoff football, Chris. Taylor, I am buzzing. Nearly two dozen Kern County teams across six divisions are playing for Valley Championships. And we're going to take you through all of the matchups, all 23 teams. We'll let you know also what we're watching tonight. We're going to start with Division One. Three teams, but only two games this week with Liberty on a first round bye. It is 10 seed Centennial taking on number seven Clovis North, while number nine Garces heads to eight seed Clovis. Taylor, my eyes are on Garces tonight. Four and six on the season, but Coach Paul Gola put together a tough schedule early on, and now they're rolling off three straight quality wins. They've got the momentum that you need for a deep playoff run, and they're set for a good matchup against a Clovis team that has flashed this season but struggled down the stretch. Well, Chris, we've got three teams in Division Two action, and I think this is probably the best division that we have. Only two games in Bakersfield tonight. Seven seed Frontier hosts number 10 Lompoc. Five seed Bakersfield Christian. They've been hot of late. We'll get to them later. They host Edison, and up north, it's Ridgeview and Zamir Hall taking on Hanford. That's the four seed. As you can see, the Eagles have the highest seed of the bunch coming off that league title win. They swept their league competition, and expectations are high for Darren Carr and company as they try to get back to a Valley title game. Ridgeview will hope Zamir Hall has some magic left in him. He led all Kern County rushers in yards, and an upset could set up a round two league ride between the Wolfpack and the Eagles. Chris? Well, Taylor, we'll move on to Division Three, which is a packed division for Kern County teams. Number eight, Chavez hosts number nine, Arroyo Grand. Area teams, Highland and Kennedy face off in a 13-4 matchup. And number three, Tehachapi hosts Mount Whitney. Finally, 15 seed Independence, a Cinderella story last year. They've got a tough test against number two, Porterville. Well, the Warriors are interesting, Taylor. A true Cinderella. Tehachapi capping off a magical run in the mountains with their first league title since 2011 and 31st in school history, but they haven't won a playoff game since 2017. At 9-1 and fresh off a of bye, FFX MVP candidate A.J. Anderson could go off in the mountains tonight. Well, five area teams, that's right, five kickoff Division Four play tonight. Oh, this is exciting. Another 8-9 matchup as Shafter hosts Strathmore. 12 seeded North, they've been hot. They head to number five, Wasco. They've already played this season. And in the 15th slot, it's South taking on two seed, Tap. Taft is also having a Tehachapi-like season at 7-2. They just missed out on a league title with an early loss to Kennedy, but they've looked strong since. And Division 5 action is all on the coast, so we'll get to that. Number 9, Delano does head to 8th seed Pioneer Valley. The 14th seeded West Vikings set sail to Dos Palos. And league champ Golden Valley, they take on Morro Bay in an 11-6 matchup. Now, Golden Valley won their league for the first time since 2010, but they struggled against opponents not in the Horizon League. On the road against an unfamiliar foe in the Pirates, can the Bulldogs pull off the upset? It'll take another big performance from star wideout Nick Abbott. Of course, he finished 2022 with 11 touchdowns. Well, we go to Division 6, Chris. We're not used to seeing some of these teams when it comes to postseason play. But that's fine. We've got Kern Valley and Orosi. We've got Arvin and Lindsay. How about Miramonte hitting the road for Mendota? And those boron Bobcats, they head to Woodlake. So, Chris, we have so many exciting matchups, but I know you wanted to spotlight Miramonte. Why is that? Well, Miramonte is a little bit unique because they haven't won a playoff game, as far as we can tell, in their school history. You know, they haven't won more than three games since 2010, and they have the chance. Of course, it's a 14-3 matchup, so it's not, un it's not likely per se, but they do have a chance to do something that they've never done. 23 teams in the postseason. It sounds like a lot, but it just goes to show the quality of football we have here in the Golden Empire. And of course, one team we haven't talked about at all, the Liberty Patriots. They're our highest seeded team in Division I play. They have the week off before they make a state championship run. Hopefully, just hopefully, that does it for your bracket breakdown. We'll have more news next.